right. So that little scooter that was in the last vlog, I asked the guy, I said, is that a real old one or is it like a cop? And he said, well, they build it to look like the 1950s scooters. But he says it's brand new. He said it's just got that retro look. Pretty wild. It looked like a road real smooth, too. This car. Ugh. You need a bath. Again. At least rinse it off. Gotta hit it waxed and everything. Uh, let's see if we can get out of this place. And I got a, a shipment that says it was delivered in it. It's not. How you like that? Four degrees, we're in Destin, Florida. Here we go. We see if we can make it for Walton today without a bunch of circus acts. Traffic's a little bit lighter today. It is Monday, May 22nd of March in 2021. Wow, that building is just falling apart over there. I just now noticed that. Hiring entry level management at Goodwill. I've known two people that were managers over there. They weren't very happy. One is is a black girl, a really good friend of mine from Dozen from years ago. And uh, there was some ruckus about her being black at the time she was working there, and, and she just finally quit. She couldn't stand it. She's one of the neatest people you ever meet. Really, really nice girl. Now, like I say, I've known her for years and years. cute, but they're about the most sorriest vehicles that you use them for anything other than driving along the beach or in the mountains or off-roading because they are just horrible things. Other than the fact that they had a lot of mechanical problems with them a lot. I've known a few people that had them and I really wanted one. That I wanted a big Grand Cherokee with all the extra stuff. For the longest time I Stop making those, but um, I had uh, a couple really good friends that had really bad problems with them, and they would take them to people to try to have them work on them, and it's really hard to work on them too. Okay, come on, let's go. This is outbound of people. It's 35 miles an hour. I would appreciate going at least 35 here. I'm just not in for that 15 mile an hour. Now the gas is almost three dollars a gallon over here. Oh my gosh! I got up this morning, but no, 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 no. I don't know if I can get around. Both these are tourists. Help! Let me out. <laughs> Come on, folks, let's go. 
There is no stoplight here. I would love to take that other lane, but I'm telling you, 90% of the time, the line is out in the street for that water burger. I don't want to get caught in that mess. Come on, let's go. Go, go, go. Looks like the, the line. Stay right where you're at. Take a turn. Here's another banana head. Drive with your arm out the window. You're ridiculous. I know a guy that rolled in a car with an arm hanging out the window, holding his hand on the drip rail. Took his fingers off. And he said, Never again will I have my arms out the window of a car. And he's a computer systems analyst. Brilliant man, Carl Hayes. And uh, he taught me computers years ago. I'm talking about big mainframe computers. Where all the discs went in like a big stacked wedding cake. Boom. But, uh, you know, I took key punch cards. But, yeah, um, he said he would just never, ever have his arm out, outside of a car again because got in a wreck and flipped the car and cut his fingers off. Yep. I think he had like part of the thumb and like two fingers like the pinky on the first finger and the rest were why they named him Crowbird. He kind of looked like a Crowbird, but it's a funny character. For Halloween, he wanted to be a crow, and so he wanted me to put fake nails back when there was porcelain. He wanted me to put fake nails on his toenails to look like um, claws. <laughs>
like you weren't doing Carl or something like that. I'm like, what? Dude, that hurt my feelings. I hate when people accuse me of doing somebody and I didn't. You know? My old friend Titus used to, he had a real kooky Filipino white bean. way out is to say yes. Yes, I did it. He said, even if you're not guilty, he says it ends the argument. But, see, for me, I couldn't do that. I'm not going to admit to anything I didn't do. I just am not. That was like my ex-husband, you know, he's kept saying he wanted the lake house to burn and he was like king of the insurance frauds the other one that was king of the insurance frauds was Thurman that sucker was major scary insurance frauder I found out but um but yeah uh my ex-husband he uh, one of the police got some people stopped over there huh. um and uh probably smoking weed Somebody probably reported it. But anyway, um, he, uh, he, he said one day, hell, I hate putting money in this house and I wish it would burn. And, you know, I told the neighbor, Libby, we were talking when she said, why does he not fix stuff up? You're always the one swinging a hammer doing something to keep place together and I said to keep it safe because we bring gas up here and stuff and you know I don't want to get sued you know somebody falls through the deck I rebuilt the entire damn deck one year sure did I bought all the weed and I went up there and did it myself and uh, my daughter and I we both did it and um, he, he would say I wish it would burn and I was like I told Libby, I said, hell, he wishes it would burn. And, uh, she was like, that's terrible. You know, he might set it on fire. And I said, well, I got an event or something over here. I guess I'll go to the restaurant side real fast to feed the kitties. Um, and, uh, so then... You know, we were riding in the car, my husband and I, and he said some kind of crap. And I said, hell, you know, you, I don't know why you don't put any money into it. I mean, the property's worth quite a bit, and it will get better, too. But, and, and I said, you know, when I was talking to Libby, you know, I had told her, that, you know, that you were like, well, I wish it would. This pool's ready to come down. I don't know if I'm going to park in that. It looks like people are breaking them, like running into them. But, um, uh, he said, oh, no, don't say that. He said, I had some friends that used to joke around like that all the time, and they actually set their place on fire. They collected the insurance and went to jail for it, and I said, well, then you should, too. <laughs> Let me go feed these key cattails. Talk to you guys later.